up some fouls. It's mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with or hands to shake with. Nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? No, there's a better word than that. Ah! A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now you see that tower out there? The big scary one? That's where I'm making you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely Great. So, just think back to the very beginning, the first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. And just try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. We've got a long, long beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must... Let's go get you some seashells, what do you say? Big 
That's called Nagave. They really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. Okay. Go ahead, kid. to make him do this every birthday. That's a great idea. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure you'll be better than me. Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Yeah, I'm worried that might have something to do with it. About. Probably solving the problems of the universe. So, do you think he's going to be smart? I don't see why not. I mean, we're both pretty smart. <laughs> no, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Hey Benny, are you ready to see something really special? I just don't want him to get a Richard! What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen! Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him, can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No, we'll find someone to take him. But, while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? 
Like you just want to jump up and down? Now what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? Very good! Just one note different. That one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go? If you could... serious piano lessons. Sure. But, you know, anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I, I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. I mean, I know... <gasps> oh, God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Of course, sir. It's all organized into folders, sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the file between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't want to go to your head, but yeah. Please let the cat know. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. And he said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me.
You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. Well, I don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take... You're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I think you have to be a new I know it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex, but just take it one day at a time. Trust me. start working on your other hand. Okay. Two. Congratulations, B. First of many, I'd assume. I want that box full. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Oh shoot, I think I gotta go. But, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to. But you can try. What the hell? Do that. Quiet, everyone. Benny's about to play for us. Wow, L, he's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but... The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in... Hey, you. Minutes. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. This is a quote. I want each of you to write it down. 
not doodle on the sidelines, not stare off into space. Okay, now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were? So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half suspect he bought it for himself. The little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys would become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Did your dad just thank me for hanging out with you? That's a very interesting detail. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want this one. Maybe I'll use... Tickle stick. It's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, life can take you to some incredible places if you're really, really good at something. It's just, you've had so much trouble making friends with Playco. I want you at a place where people really get you. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? <laughs>